There are about 50 trillion cells in the human body. The majority of these are normal cells that make up the structure of our muscles, organs, bones, and skin. Today, we will be focusing on a minority of these cells. Special cells with the potential to not only become any part of the body, but also the remarkable ability to renew themselves through cell division indefinitely, sometimes after long periods of inactivity. I'm talking, of course, about stem cells. There are two types of stem cells that exist at different stages in our bodies. The most common are the somatic or adult stem cells, but arguably the most important are the undifferentiated or embryonic stem cells, which hold the ability to become any part of the human body. The fate of each one of these cells will be determined by a set of epigenetic signals from inside of it and the surrounding cells which change gene expression patterns. These signals are like commands attached to the DNA that switch certain genes on or off. To find these cells, we will have to look in what is called the blastocyst. In the three to five day old embryo, called a blastocyst, the inner cells will give rise to the entire body of the organism. To extract the stem cells, the blastocyst must first be opened. Once the stem cells are exposed, they can be removed and cultured in a lab to help develop cell-based therapies to treat disease. So what does this have to do with apples? During the 18th century, apples were cultivated not only for taste, but for longevity because they had very limited refrigeration. A certain type of apple, called the Utwiler Spätlauber, was known for its ability to stay fresh well after other apples had dried up. This is due to the long-living stem cells in this variety of apple. In order to test if this anti-aging effect could work on people, scientists at Mabel Biochemistry obtained human stem cells from the blood of an umbilical cord. Their first in-house study on cell response showed that, in a concentration of only one-tenth of a percent, an extract of the apple stimulated the proliferation of human stem cells by 80%. And the best part? All experiments are done without harming a single one of these now incredibly rare trees. First, tissue is harvested from a source plant. This is called an explant. Next, a small cut is made in the explant. New cells form on the surface of this cut in an attempt to heal the wound. This mass of cells is called a callus. The slowly dividing cells of the callus are undifferentiated stem cells. They are essentially unprogrammed and full of potential. It is these cells that will go on to not only advance apple stem cell research, but help people have beautiful, healthy skin.